Good morning guys, welcome back. It is another beautiful morning here at Armour Resort in uh, Savai. Um, just woke up, it's about probably towards 7am at the moment. So, I'm gonna head up um, to the breakfast. I think they've got the breakfast ready. Um, and then uh, we'll see what we've got planned today with our team. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share our channel, guys. And we'll see you guys soon. It's this guy again. This local guy. <laughs> nice and shine. Nice and shine. Another day, another, day, another dollar. guys so uh, today we'll be checking out some of the uh, chicken farms um, for some research work our, our lab is associated in uh, but you know, get to show you guys some of the farms around here in Savai as we are a farming channel so yeah we're actually in uh, Salilong at the moment so this is one of our first stops for the day Average salmon family, um, which will have a plantation, a chicken farm, or possibly a pig farm as well. Sometimes a cattle farm, but not that many. Um, but it's uh, according to the farmer there, uh, most of his chickens, because the fence is not high enough, the chickens tend to escape. So he's raising free range chickens, and um, most of the time, the chickens actually escape. From the fencing so it's quite hard for him to monitor the chickens um, but we'll have a look at the the um, the chicken farm on that side so this is the farmer's chicken farm um, and he mentions that uh, occasionally he will plant some vegetables in here but actually the chickens help uh, till the soil um, so he's got cabbages he's just finished uh, pak choy um, but he's got uh, cucumbers in there and once uh, he's finished planting veggies um, then he'll let the chickens go back into the fencing and then they'll um, you know do a bit of weeding eating the grass also insects and stuff it's pretty good I like that method so you can see the fencing is not that high probably a meter and a half um, so kind of feel sorry for the guy it is quite difficult <laughs> So we're in uh, 
another chicken farm here. here it's uh, Salavalu. I'm just gonna check it out. This chicken, this family's chicken farm, I think the number was about 20 plus. Um, they said numbers have gone down to the, there's this disease um, that's uh, hurting the chicken farm. I think it's called foul cholera or something um, that's hurting the chicken farm. But also it was during the festive season where a lot of people bought chickens from them. Um, and that's why the number's gone down. So yeah, on to the next one. All right, so the team have uh, left. Fortunately, I can't go with them because this is a, I have to stay back and look after the car. Um, that's it. Assets are very important, so I have to look after these assets, which is why I'm staying back, you know. So yeah, guys, I uh, actually decided to stay back. Um, couldn't send up the drone because I need a bit of uh, GPS and uh, can't find service up here, so which kind of sucks, though. Um, This farmer has a pig farm. You guys could see the pig in the back there. And our teams, our teams just asking a few questions uh, with regards to the pig farm. Very nice pigs, though. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. Well, did you miss me? Go on and say I told you so. Yeah, now I know the straight life is no go. Yeah, I was wrong. I tried to get domesticated, but yesterday I finally could take it. And I was gone. I probably should have told my wife, but the minute I saw the light, I just dug out my boots and threw out the fanny pack Sold the plan and got my old honey back Cranked up the bike and flew out the cul-de-sac Straight to the nearest bar ACDC on the jukebox back and back Got so drunk I singing like a maniac Smoked so much I about had a heart attack So it's a fact Some uh, X-rated scenes going on there Oh, the children Back. I ain't gonna lie. I dressed up in a suit and pulled out the driveway. Alright, so, so we're gonna head to the next site. I was feeling a bit down. Uh, the kids said, the, I'm just as fat as the other pig in there. It really hurt me. Damn kids. They're so honest, kids. They're so honest. Alright. I dug out my boots, flew out the fanny pack, sold the plan, got my old party back, cranked up the bike, flew out the cul-de-sac, straight to the nearest bar. ACDC on the jukebox, back and back, got so drunk, I was singing like a maniac, smoked so much, I about had a heart attack. And I woke up in someone's yard. Rascally. genius uh, contraption here. This family is, I don't know how far, probably 500 meters from the, from sea, from the main road, probably a kilometer. No, 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 probably two kilometers. 
but they've got a tilapia farm here. So see the two tanks there? It actually feeds into these tilapia farms and there's about one, two, three, four. Four of them. It's really nice. And I can see that it sort of cascades down. Well, it's actually, oh well, yeah, I think it cascades down. It's really nice. Get a chance to look inside. Those woods there are actually woods that are cut from trees. Not actually, they're not bought from the store, so that's timber that they actually, um, their trees up in the forest cut down and then they cut them into the specific sizes they want. It's pretty good. Actually, save, save a lot of money utilizing um, the resources instead of buying uh, timber from the shop. Hello, Tolu. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Intu. Hello, Hello, boy. Oh. Still not. Hello. Sorry. Huh? Yeah. Uh, the woman told me to me that to buy the the farm of Moya and the fiona some new soup. I said, that's your favorite to Amla. And for my boy, the woman used to be a little bit of a name. I am my more my love. Alright, so uh, sorry guys, I, I tend to, I'm trying to save my battery so we're not getting enough footage at the moment. Power bank died out, so um, hopefully we'll get some more. We are cutting it close to time now. It's probably around close to 4 p.m. So we have to head back to the hotel, but we're trying to finish up our job. So yeah, guys, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Uh, I'll probably get a recap once we get to the hotel because he needs to rest. <laughs> yeah. Very, very weak, very weak farmer. Salmon farmer, see you move
Alright guys, so we're on to our last location here. I um, really enjoyed it today, so um, I've actually quite learned a lot um, from most of the Savai farmers. In uh, my honest opinion, they do a lot better, um, especially with livestock farming. So, uh, quickly do a recap once we get to the hotel. Um, we'll go and head off soon. Tomo setting up the view. Let's go. Here we go. Oh wow. Oh damn. Oh wow. This is this is it, man. It's the place to be. Waimana. Check it out. Woo. Let's go. All right, guys. Um, we'll get back to just gonna unload the bags, but. Uh, Gonna get settled in. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, so we're all just uh, chilling down a bit now <coughs> from a long day. Um, you know, we've been sampling the, or not sampling, just doing site visits of all the livestock farms the whole day. So uh, it's great to be back. Well, not be back. It's our first time here. Oh, it's my first time here. See, I'm getting, I'm getting lost. So we've got the team down there. got the team down there just enjoying the beach uh, me and Tolo here uh, as you guys mentioned this is Tolo there from the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries the Livestock Division be sure if you're in Samoa uh, it's a cool guy um, but uh, we're just uh, having two we're about to have a few beers and a bit of Ava Samoan Ava uh, to finish off the day so yeah guys, you'll be joining us for a few this evening and then I hope you sign off. Really love the scene here. I mean, um, this is Vaimwana in uh, Asau. Oh, Vaimwana ho Hotel or Resort in Asau. Absolutely beautiful, man. I mean, it's far from the Salilonga Wharf, but it's well worth it. So if you're in Samoa, want to come to Savai, check out um, Vaimwana Resorts because, man, I really love it here. This is my first time here, so... Um, most of these guys have already been here a couple of times, um, but this is my first time here, so I really enjoy it. Um, I really love the views as well. The rooms are really good. Um, nothing fancy, but just your, you know, your normal standard of living. But it's even the kitchen as well. So we've got dinner at the moment in the kitchen in the back there. That's the kitchen there, um, and that's cooking. Uh, they're cooking up us our dinner. But we're just gonna have a few, and then uh, yeah, probably sign off for tonight, and I will show you guys around the resort tomorrow. Good, mate. That's good. That's real good. Go 
ile lofo mo le a ngale le yone ku la ga pule fa so ifu o la ga pule alof e we ile van ge bai kala fiavi lo la ku e ma lo la ku kai e ma se ko yo fu fu nga sa fe nga yai a le nga ko ngo le fiavi e wo ma ku vai ma ga lo ing e wo ma ku fa ki ko yai le vai u so fe alof an e wo fo se vai va ngale ge bai kala fiavi e ke le fu ma le ma le sing e o to lo la fa yai nga lue Second day here. Uh, we're actually leaving back to Upolo today, so uh, probably uh, have some breakfast first and then uh, pack up our bags and then head out. Um, but so far, we've uh, really enjoyed the trip um, to Savai. Hopefully, we'll be back next time and uh, probably make more frequent trips um, to Savai, make some great content um, because this was a work trip, uh, probably be. Um, a lot better if we come by ourselves um, but if you've enjoyed our Savai episodes uh, be sure to like comment subscribe guys I really appreciate the support um, you know growth of the channel has been really well um, we're about to head off and grab some breakfast and uh, catch the f uh, we've got a few more farmers on the way and then um, catch the ferry back home so hopefully we make it home in time um, but yeah, guys, hopefully catch you guys on our next episode. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share our channel, guys. And uh, we'll definitely catch you guys on our next episode. But until then, God bless. Take care. Stay safe, guys.
stack of coconuts. Mm -hmm.